Tyler here with GP Knives and we're back again with the week 7 update. This week we're going to start out with some new items from RMJ Tactical. We've actually had this model in before. This is the Mini Jenny, but this is the new hammer pole version. So it's a little more utilitarian and functional for Woodscraft. It doesn't have a sharp edge along the top and it's got a hammer pole on the rear. Still got that same CNC machined edge on the front. It is razor sharp and a sharpened beard at the bottom. You got great jimping on the handle and these wonderful 3D machined multicolor G10 handles. Very comfortable, lightweight and ergonomic, easy to carry and made from 80 CRV2 for excellent toughness with tungsten Cerakote for corrosion resistance. Now we've got these in three different colors. We've got them in the dirty olive, which is the green and black. We've got them in the hyena brown, which is the brown and black, and then just a straight black G10. They all come with custom molded Kydex sheaths with polyamide straps for security. We also have some fixed blade knives from RMJ Tactical and much more, so let's jump right in. We're going to start out this week with some small fixed blade knives from RMJ Tactical. This is the Origin, a compact and lightweight neck knife made from Nitro V. Nitro V is a stainless steel that is similar to AEBL, often used in razor blades, with the addition of nitrogen and vanadium for increased corrosion and edge retention, respectively. It's a CNC machine, full tang piece. It's coated with tungsten Cerakote for a nice non-reflective finish and it has a built-in bottle opener as well. And this comes with the custom molded Kydex sheath with plenty of eyelets and a steel ball chain for neck carry. Also from RMJ Tactical we have the Ujadehe, which is Cherokee for man killer. This is a very discreet full-sized fixed blade also made from Nitro V with the tungsten Cerakote. This is a bit larger and more robust in the construction. Same CNC machining done. It's got a full length handle that is skeletonized for reduction of weight and allowing for a paracord wrap on there and a nice lanyard hole. You got some jimping on the spine, a nice integral guard there and a great utilitarian blade design, a modified drop point with a bit of a swedge there and plenty of belly on that cutting edge. So this is gonna be a great lightweight utility knife or a backup defensive tool. And again, this one comes with custom molded Kydex with a scout mounted carry loop and pull the dot snap. We've also recently received a small batch of buskers from Olamic Tactical. These are all unique in their individual designs and finishes. On the far left here, we have the Vampo blade profile, which is an S-curve style blade. All these are gonna have blades of Buller's M390 for optimal performance in edge retention and corrosion resistance. This one has an acid washed and tumbled finish on the grind and a satin finish on the flats. You've got a very ergonomic grip on these with a small choil area and a nice scoop at the spine and multiple opening options got a ceramic bearing pivot in there for smooth operation. You can deploy it either via this top flipper or via the hole on the blade. And you've got a lot of different options as far as operation there. Titanium frame locks on all of these, just an acid washed and tumbled finish on this one, satin finished titanium backspacer and right hand tip up only pocket clip with ceramic tension ball. Next up, we have the Simper Profile, which is sort of a modified sheep's foot. You get a little more point on this. It's got a nice satin finish. Again, Buller's M390. This one has the jigged backspacer in a bright bronze color, and then a more matte bronze finish on the titanium frame and scale side. You can also see here, the over travel stop of the stainless steel lock face insert, and that's gonna provide a nice smooth operation on the lock. Lastly, we have the Largo pattern. This is a full sheep's foot style with a forward swedge here. 
Still a little bit of tip on there, but this one is going to be the most rounded of the bunch. Satin finish with a media blasted and tumbled finish on the titanium. And then we've got some Timascus on the inlay and the clip. And then just the matte gray on the backspacer. And last but not least here, we've got another satin finished with the Largo profile and what they're calling the Kinetic, which is the texture here, and Flamingo. So Kinetic Flamingo with a five hole pattern. You can see this one has a very unique look, more of a bright anodized finish on the backspacer. And again, the matching finish on the clip. For those among you looking for a more traditional folder, this week we just dropped the Great Eastern Knives number 56 pattern. This is the Northfield Bird Dog in Sandbar Stag. These are going to be listed individually as the stag does vary quite a bit from knife to knife. You got a large spear point blade with a long pull as the main blade, and then a smaller pin blade as backup. And these do have ornamental bolsters as well as that long pull, and then standard construction other than that with brass pins and liners, and stainless back springs. These are a 1095 high carbon tool steel blade, and a great option if you're looking for a nice traditional knife that is going to be unique in its look. Still in the folder category this week, we have the Spyderco Shaman in a fully blacked out edition. Same as the original Shaman, it's got a nice high height saber grind of S30V, black DLC coating on this, contoured black G10 handle scales with all black hardware, and a four position black coated clip, and of course the compression lock operation. It's a nice robust folder, very ergonomic and comfortable in the hand, and now available in this fully blacked out edition. And last but not least this week, we have the Elijah Isham designed and we produced Zeta. This is a hidden flipper with Buller M390 blade, a full titanium construction with carbon fiber overlays. Here you can see that blade with a nice satin finish. It's got a full length swedge along the top, very small swedge, but it does refine the point there. Got a ceramic ball bearing operation as with all Wii knives, very fast and smooth, can be deployed in a variety of ways using either this hole in the blade or the top flipper. And as I said before, it does become completely hidden in the open position. Full titanium construction, nice ergonomic handle, tumbled titanium, and it is contoured for comfort with some very large carbon fiber overlays, full titanium backspacer you can see marked with Isham and Zeta, and a right hand tip up only titanium pocket clip. Titanium frame lock, it does have a large stainless steel insert for smooth operation and solid lockup and just overall a very great artistic piece with a high level of functionality. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives in your weekly update. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel, like the video below, and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.